Welcome back to Slow Living. My name is Esther and I like to sew things that support a slow lifestyle. In this video, I'm going to do a sewing tutorial. Of course, that's what all of my videos are about. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sew a tutu the easy way. By easy way, I mean a few less steps than the proper way or the professional way that you would probably do it, but you can get a really great outcome if you're a beginner sewist and you're you know, trying your hand at making a tutu for your little one. I'll show you step by step how you can do that. This is the tutu that I made for my niece. She was turning two and this was her birthday present. So I actually sewed this quite a while ago. And so this is it after being worn for about six months. I will note that you can actually sew this if you don't have a sewing machine because it is very, very simple. But just be aware, it's one simple straight line of sewing, but it'll be a long line. <laughs> So that's my disclaimer, is that it's very, very simple to sew, but if you're doing it by hand, it will obviously take longer than if you have a sewing machine. I think that's all I had to say. Let's get started. So for this easy sew tutu, you need elastic that is at least one inch in width. You need tulle, and then you need a matching colored thread to the tulle. Tulle is that meshy kind of fabric that you think of immediately when you think of tutus or fairy skirts. It's very easy to work with, and that's why this skirt is going to be really easy to sew. To determine how much tulle you'll need, um, you first need to decide how long you want your tutu to be. I wanted mine to be 30 centimeters, and that included the elastic as the waistband. So that means the total length of the tutu is actually going to be a little bit less than 30 centimeters. But before you cut your tulle, have a look at this because this is how we're going to construct the tutu. I'm actually going to cut my tulle double what I want the skirt length to be. So for example, my skirt, I want it to be 30 centimeters. So I'm actually going to cut it 60 centimeters and fold it in half. Once I folded it in half, then I'm going to put the elastic inside that fold. And then that's going to create that beautiful gather along the waistline. I'll go through that in much more detail when we get to the sewing part. But for now, you just need to determine the length of your tutu and then double that. Now we need to figure out how long we need this tulle to be so that you get that nice bunched up tutu effect. For reference, I ended up making mine quite long, um, around seven and a half meters, I think it was. But you can get away with a lot less than that. But just keep in mind that that's going to determine how fluffy or how poofy your tutu turns out. As a minimum, I recommend taking the waist measurement of the tutu and then tripling that. But if you're after that really puffy look, then you're looking at more like 10 times that waist measurement. I think that's roughly what this was for the tutu that I made. You'll find that tulle fabric is actually quite wide. So for example, if you want five meters of bulk in your tutu, you shouldn't have to buy five meters of tulle. So for example, I think I only purchased two meters of tulle, but that gave me so many panels that I was able to get about seven and a half meters of bulk to create all that fluffiness in my tutu. So it's a really great idea to get all these measurements done before you go and buy your tulle so that you can calculate how much fabric you need. Now that I have all my tulle cut, there's no need to join them. I'm going to show you how you do that as we go along. So as I said, my elastic was around two and a half or one inch in width. So that means I'm going to sew along that folded edge of my tulle about three centimeters, wide enough so that I can thread the elastic through. I'm just using a regular straight stitch. Um, if you don't have a sewing machine, this is the part where you need to hand sew it. You can do a regular running stitch. Just look up basic running stitch. You can also use masking tape to put next to your sewing foot so that you can simply keep that aligned so that your stitches are nice and straight. When you come to the end of one of your pieces of tulle and you need to add more, take your new piece and sandwich the old piece inside the new piece of your tulle, keeping the folded edges aligned. Then you can just sew straight, continuing with your straight stitch, and it won't make a difference when you need to thread your elastic through later on. Sorry, it's really hard to describe what to do here, but hopefully you can get the idea. The main thing is that you need to be able to thread an elastic through continuously so you can do a practice run. And if you can't get that elastic through, then something's gone wrong. This is another view, so again, getting your new piece of tulle and wrapping it around the old piece, 
and then continuing to sew. And then you basically continue this process until you've used up all of those panels of tulle. By the time I had finished, this is how much tulle I had. Um, and now it's time to thread our elastic through. I wasn't sure of the waist measurement that my niece would need, so I cut a little bit extra. Otherwise, you can easily Google children or adult waist measurements and see what length of elastic you'll need. Next, pop a large safety pin on one end of your elastic and then start to thread it through like this. And just continue that process until you've gotten through all of your tulle. Just be careful not to lose the other end of your elastic. If you're worried about that, you can use another safety pin and secure it so that it doesn't get lost. Also be careful to thread through your elastic nice and flat. Don't let it twist and turn as you're going through the tulle. That'll create a really uneven, quite uncomfortable waistband. So you really want that elastic to stay nice and flat the whole way around. When you're done, secure the ends together with a safety pin and then we're going to sew the elastic together. Simply overlap your pieces of elastic and then you can either hand sew or use a sewing machine to sew a box shape like this. And I like to sew a line through the box, but you know, whatever tickles your fancy, just as long as it's nice and secure. You can trim off any extra elastic you have, or you can just tuck it into the tulle so that you can later take out the tutu and make it bigger if you want to. Um, otherwise, tuck it in there and then it should all be finished. You might need to move the tulle around the elastic, so pull it through, you'll get what I mean, because it might bunch up in different areas and you want it to be nice and even all around that waistband. When it's all nice and even around the waistband, then your tutu is finished. So there you go. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you had a go, I'd love to see how yours turned out. You can find me on Instagram, tag me in your make. I really enjoy seeing the things you make using my tutorials. It's very satisfying and I love that I can help you out in that way. If you have any suggestions for other sewing projects that I could take on, um, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you in another video soon.